that's it. That's how you fix error 3302 if you have it. But most of the time you don't really need to do a factory reset. I have never done it and my 3D printer has been printing amazingly. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, we will be taking a look at the K1 Max newest, latest firmware update. Let's scratch today's topic. Okay, so let's head over to the K1 Max and let's look at the new firmware update for the 3D printer and see what we are getting. Okay, so as of right now, the current version is 1.3.3.26. The latest is 1.3.3.29 and that's an increase which is nice, easy to read. There's lots of things here so we will read that in the computer so that it's bigger and we can see more clearly. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Let's go! I love these new version. We are now in Creality Cloud. We are in the flagship series, which is the K1 series. And looking at this, the K1 does not have the new update. It has the 1.3.3.8. But if we look at the K1 Max, it has the version 1.3.3.29. For whatever reason, I did notice some of you guys say that the 1.3.3.26 is gone. Creality took it off from their Creality Cloud webpage. And they released with a newer version, the 0.29. For that reason was, there were so many complaints about that version, saying that the 3D printer is not working properly. It just crashed, it just do all these bugs. And Creality, I think they decided to take that down, redo all the coding in there, and then re-upload this as a newer version. The K1C also has this new version. So let's take a look at the description and see what we have here. Please do a factory reset if you use root script to install other components. Otherwise, it might cause error. Yes, yes, like this. I don't think they say this from the 0.26 version, but they did say that do a factory reset, not like if you root the 3D printer. But yes, you need to do that. But for me, I don't really do it. I just reinstall everything from the helper script on GitHub. Upgrade won't remove fluid main cell, but it will overwrite printer's configs. Save file if needed. Yeah, that's what happened last time. And that's why I got the error 3002, I think that was the one. Okay, now let's get to the 0.29 firmware updates note. Compatible with Creative Print 5.0 prints. Okay, I'm not sure if this is on the Ender series. I'm gonna check right now. Yeah, it looks like they did not say that on the Ender 3 series, but my Ender 3v3 works with Creality Print 5. Okay, second thing is nozzle PID tuning is now default to 220 degrees. Okay, so this is, yeah, like I said, pretty much like this, almost the same version as the 0.26 firmware, but they just re-update this to make it work better. Fix some UI translation, optimize M141 command, Camera setup fail prompt, yes, lower the temperature nozzle during homing sequence G28 to prevent leaking from the nozzle with certain materials when the nozzles probe the bed. That is very nice. This is nice, but when I reinstall everything from the helper script back into my K1 Max, the temperature of the nozzle goes back up to the default value. I think it was 130-ish, and they lower it to 115, but it's working fine on my K1 Max, so it doesn't really matter. Fix machine malfunction caused by printing with Bamboo Studio slice file. Okay, so Bamboo Studio is broken. Orca slicer is not, so let's stick to Orca slicer. <laughs> that is pretty much really, really similar to version 0.26, but hopefully this time it actually works. Okay, now we can take a look at the 3D printer. After the upgrade, please recalibrate everything before starting printing. Cancel. <coughs> Yeah, we get this error, 3002 or no exception. Many people say and Creality say that it's either the pin to the nozzle or the motherboard wire is not connected properly. But most of the time, it's really not that. We start and stuff like that, but it will still cause the same error. But now, I know how to fix this error easily by using Orca Slicer Fluid. Now, I am in Orca Slicer trying to figure out this 3002 error. As you can see right here, includes file, the config helper script, camera setting does not exist. Well, how do you fix this? Well, if you rooted your 3D printers, the way you fix this is just reinstall everything that you install before updating to the latest firmware. And as you can see here, even though I restarted, everything is zero out. It says that I don't have filament, but indeed I do. It's just broken. I don't have any files. And yeah, this time I maybe might have to do a factory reset. But let's not worry about that yet. I'll be installing everything, shutting off my 3D printer, and then see if that work okay so now i am in mobile xterm i'm gonna find my k1 max i think it's this one nope 
I think it's this one. I got way too many 3D printers. Now that I got into my KO Max, your 3D printer has to be on. I'm just gonna press the up there because it saves from your previous time that you used Mobile Xterm, which is very amazing. Enter that, wait for it to load. Do you want to update? Yes. Okay, it's updating the helper script too, which is very nice. Run that again. And now we are in. Let's go. I want to install everything here. I'm gonna see what I have first. So I don't have clipper, I don't have camp, I don't have fan control, shaper, useful macro. Okay, I need all of that. Let's go back. Let's install. Okay, we got fluid, we got main cell. Let's install clipper. Yes. Enable macros for push sensor. Yes, why not? Okay, we got that. I'm gonna do eight nozzle cleaning fan control. Fan control macro. Yes, because that was a file that it says that it was missing. Ten shaper collaboration. Yes, install that. As you can see, the background, my KO Max is keep restarting because I'm installing new stuff to it. So it keeps restarting, refreshing, trying to get all the files up. 11, use for macro. Of course, I love these things. I need it. GUI Laos and the team has made this very freaking easy. I love it. Thank you so much for all of the things that you guys do. See offset. Yes, let's save that. 13, screw tilt adjustment support. Why not? K1 Max okay why not m600 support let's install that too i have not go into what that is but it's okay so let's do moon raker we got that let's do 17 yes we need the camera setting control and let's do the usb camera support too now nah, let's not do that i don't i don't need that okay that's pretty much everything that i need let's go back okay let's see if this is gonna work let's reconnect actually i'm gonna restart my 3d printer buzzer support that's number seven yes i love fluid i love orca slicer they have fluid you can just see what the air is and it's so amazing restart clipper let's restart the firmware too well it says clippy <gasps> Clippy hole is not connected. Okay, what I'm gonna do is restart my cable max and see if that works. Okay, just restart it. The filament radon sensor is gone. The temperature is back. It's not zero anymore. The files is there. There we go. All the files are there. And let's check the version. 0.29. Let's go. Okay, now we got everything back and working. And I keep getting this error, but it doesn't really matter because i can still print and do everything it's just give me this error so it's fine it's it can be there let's check everything let's check the fan okay that runs that runs that runs my bed mesh is still here i don't really need to do bed mesh but i'm just gonna do it for for fun that's it that's how you fix error 3302 if you have it and that's how you install the newest latest firmware from Quality. and well yeah that is exactly how you install the latest firmware to your k1 max and how you fix the error 3302 like i said it's not always gonna be like missing files sometimes it could be like a wire not connecting to something i feel like if that's the problem, then when you turn on your 3D printer, the motherboard is not even going to turn on. Or the motherboard fan is not even going to run. Or even the nozzle is not going to heat up or the fan is not going to run. So it's very obvious of what that is. But sometimes it's just a 3302 unknown. So what is that? Well, you can use Orca Slicer or a web browser and get into fluid of your 3D printer. And it will show you at the very top saying what the error is. And that is exactly how I solve my problem here so hopefully this actually helps some of you out there if I don't have fluid like that I don't think I will be able to solve that I'll just go on Google search 3302 error key for KO Max and I'm just gonna get the same answer over and over let's recap everything if you get the prompt for the new update if you want to you can download it if you don't want to you don't have to download it. I've been postponing this for one day and it's totally fine but it will just keep popping up I think you can disable that in the setting so after you download and install the newest latest firmware you need to do like a factory reset but most of the time you don't really need to do a factory reset I have never done it and my 3d printer has been printing amazingly but what I find you actually need to do is the bed collaboration and the input shaping because Creality might or might not add more G-code into your 3D printer's profile. So that portion I find is actually necessary to do but the factory reset I don't really find that necessary and it works perfectly fine. So just do your bed collaboration and just do your input shaping because that actually helps improve the print quality. And after you got all of that done 
if you have a 3302 error and if your 3D printer is booted, you need to get all the files that you previously had and reinstall them to the newest firmware so that it's there and it actually works. And if you change anything in the G code file or the printer's configuration, you need to re-add those things because all of those are gonna get overwrite with the new firmware. What's good about this update is the nozzle temperature not heating up too high because some filament melts at a very low point. Like I have a row of wood PLA and the recommended print temperature is like 170 to 190. And I definitely think about 130, it will kinda ooh. So it's good that they lower the temperature to like around 110 or 115. I forgot the exact number, but it's around that range. But that will be it for this video of me updating my KO Max to the latest firmware. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, keep on 3D printing.